why it is so hard to make it a consist money day trading or scalping because you are probably in the wrong in indicators and you are using them in the wrong way i am fixing this problem today and you will discover a constant way to trade and read the market just by using a VWA app indicator and hey guys before we start if you want to show your support Before we start, if you want to show your support, please drop a like to help us with YouTube algorithms and turn the bell so you don't miss when a new video are released professionally. So really on uh, two important factors when making trading decisions, uh, price and volume. These two elements uh, tell you everything you need to know about the price and uh, where it may be headed. So it makes sense uh, that you must uh, develop a powerful strategy that is based uh, on price volume. Uh, with uh, this scalping strategy, I keep my uh, chart uh, relatively clean uh, with a minimal number of the indicators displayed. Here is where what uh, I have on my chart first: price actions uh, in the form of Hager Archie candles, the six seconds volume weight. Average price uh, VAA per indicator 3 optional 1 momentum oscillator to find the period of the expansions or the consolidated contractions uh, and identify the divergence. Hika Eshi Hika Eshi are visually appeared because uh, you can easily filter the price of the present move of the overall trend and uh, provides a clear view. Uh, visual representations of the trend. Hika Eshi candlesticks are different from normal candlesticks, uh, this price bears uh, are average bar and it does not reflect uh, each open high its lows uh, and goes uh, for the period like uh, normal candlesticks. Uh, the various bullish uh, or the bearish reversal patterns uh, consist consistent of one to three candlesticks uh, are not found here. There are no uh, hammers or uh, and following uh, candles uh, razor these candlesticks uh, can be used to identify potential reversal points uh, and more important trading periods these charts uh, are filtered from noise uh, those making the short-term trend easier to observe so this chart will help you to view trends uh, and identify the potential reversal the hikaishi candles are totally different in the appearance when uh, a strong trend move uh, is uh, underway relative to pullbacks uh, upwards uh, trending moves uh, typically have long upwards candles with uh, very little or no lower uh, shadows when a strong uh, uptrend is underway and the buying is aggressive the lower shadows will typically disappear the same uh, concepts apply to the downtrend, uh, except strong downtrend moves uh, with uh, to be compressed. Okay, the Ashley price bars uh, with uh, little or no upper shadows. The bars will also typically be long and moving lower during pullbacks or weak trend moves. You will see lots of bars with uh, lower and upper shadows uh, this doesn't necessarily indicate a reversal but it uh, does mean that trend is no corrective phase uh, or slowing uh, so typically during uh, strong trended moves you will see strong up bars with no lower shadows uh, and stronger down bars with no upper shadows for a downtrend and just because one up candle or a couple of candles with uh, upper shadows uh, appear during uh, a downtrend uh, doesn't mean that trend is reversing it may just be a pausing the same is true for the uptrends uh, vwap volume weight average price or vwap is probably the most important technical indicators uh, for day traders uh, and scalping yeah, essentially the app uh, is moving average that takes uh, into account the volume of the shapes being traded uh, at any price other moving average are calculated based on the only on the price uh, of the stocks uh, on the chart but the app uh, also considers the number of the shapes 
in uh, that stock so that's are being traded on every price basically the that is the indicator of the uh, who is under control of the price actions the buyers or the sellers yeah. when a stock is traded above the every that it means that the buyers are in overall control of the price and that they are the buying demand in the stock will will the stock Price bearers below the VWAP uh, servers are gaining control over the price action. So VWAP is um, often used to measure the trading performance uh, of illustration traders, professional traders who work for the investment banks uh, or uh, he defines uh, and need to trade while under obvious shapes uh, each day cannot enter the exist uh, market by just one single um, order. The market is not liquid enough, therefore they need to uh, proceed with their orders uh, slowly during the day. After buying or selling the large positions in the stock during the day, institutional traders uh, compare their price to VWAP values and a buy order excluded below the VWAP would be considered a good feel from them because uh, the stock was bought and the below average price meaning that the trade has bought their large positions at the relative uh, discount price uh, compares uh, to the market constantly a sell order excluded above the VWAP would be considered a good feel because it was sold at the above average price this is how VWAP is used by the institutional trades uh, to identify the good entry and exit points Institutional traders therefore try to buy below uh, or as close to the VAP as possible. Uh, conversely, uh, when the professional traders has to get rid of the large positions, they try to sell at the VAP or carry the trading. Who know this may be um, benefited from this market activity. If this is the large institutional trade uh, aiming to buy a significant points position, uh, the price will be over the VWAP and move higher. This is a good opportunity for just day trading uh, to go one uh, conversion way if the trade uh, if these are big players waiting to get uh, rid of uh, their shapes, uh, they started seeing their shapes. At the VWAP, the price will reject the VM, uh, VWAP and start to move down. This is an ex uh, exam. excellent short selling opportunity for the day traders if there is no interest in the stock from the market ma makers or uh, institutions. The price may trade uh, sideways uh, near VWAP and you will want to stay away from that price actions. I hope you see how trading based uh, on the VWAP will keep you on the right side of the trade. VWAP bands, uh, well informed traders know that VWAP is the must have indicator. However, it takes an experienced uh, trader to understand when price is overbought or oversold in relation to VWAP. This skill is essential to finding and uh, trading the best opportunities. The key aspect of the VWAP indicators are its uh, bands. Uh, based on standards the deviations, these VWAP bands uh, are well hidden support and resistance and the base of the stand VWAP indicators. These bands uh, allow to even most uh, novice uh, traders to identify it under value and uh, overvalue price zones by stay, uh, studying uh, how the price <coughs> interacts with the river bands you can be in to, to discover the price action uh, characteristics uh, of the market and <coughs> I prefer to add uh, uh, not just uh, one set of the bands but two one VWAP uh, with the standard deviation bands of one and the second one with the standard deviation of the two. This way you get multiple levels of the BMX support and resistance, strong buying uh, pressure above the VWAP or strong selling pressure below it. It uh, is an uh, indication so that market uh, participants uh, are seeking uh, to push price uh, to a new area of value. When this type of aggressive buying or selling occurs, 
it uh, usually lends to significant moves in the market. Uh, the beauty of the VWAP events is that they really uh, these hiding areas of the support and resistance allowing you to see value opportunities like their pros. The ability to see these uh, hiding levels uh, also you uh, anticipate price movements uh, at important uh, action zones in uh, essence as the price trades uh, always from the VWAP uh, the blue center line. The bands above it and below it is it becomes a target. Uh, likewise, a price uh, reverse from the outer bands, the probability of the reaching the webs creates significantly. So, how do you actually take the signals using the webs and Higaichi? Well, when analyzing the market, you must look for the specific signals to determine the best point of uh, entry and exit. Ideally, the more signals appears in the specific uh, price point, the stronger it is. In uh, the corner context of the trading, we uh, call this uh, confluence uh, to be able to uh, stop confluence in the price uh, chart. Uh, you first need to have to decrease gaps on the basic technical analysis uh, concepts. Uh, concepts. Uh, this means uh, identify and uh, plotting support and resistance levels. Uh, confluence appears in the chart as the measuring or two or more elements in the chart uh, price levels. Points where the support and resistance levels against which the VAPs bend, these are key areas to buy or sell positions. In this example, you can clearly see how the price uh, shifted to a downtrend channel. However, the downtrend channel ended uh, when the price uh, hit a major support uh, level here. At this level, we also had a VSF lower band, revealing that the sellers are are losing uh, steam and uh, buyers uh, are starting to get aggressive. So once we identify the possible confluence point, we just need to analyze the price actions using Hikahashi green candles uh, forming after the price rejected the uh, confluence area means the shift in momentum. This area turned out to be the great support confluence point and strong level to consider to the entry position stop loss always goes below the support level below the confluence area and you take profit uh, as the price uh, reach river bands uh, prior to the closing the parts of your positions here the price met uh, a major resistance levels at this area we also had revap uh, upper bands so we found our possible uh, raised uh, resistance uh, confluence area. Now we just need to read rise sections using the Higaishi. Observe how the price rejects our area with several red candles. Uh, a good entry signals. We have had a strong uh, downtrend shown by the cons constitute red candlesticks. See that the bearish price actions has no upper candle wicks. This uh, indicates that uh, the declining movement uh, is strong. Stop loss above the resistance levels and the profit targets with that bands uh, depending on the recept price actions. In this chart, we identified uh, at least uh, three position, three points that uh, indicates the support level. Then we also found this uh, rising uh, trend line and uh, of course uh, the web bands. As actress price found support uh, around our confluence area. After this, we identified the first green candlesticks with no uh, shadows. Uh, this is a good signal that a strong bullish trend uh, might be uh, starting. The advantage of this uh, strategy is that uh, the combined price and the volume and the same time you eliminate noise by the using Hikayashi and you also rely on the both uh, static and dynamic support and resistance level powerful stuff if things uh, are uh, unclear uh, or you find a setup uh, and you don't know if the confluence area is worth trading uh, you can add the momentum oscillator uh, or confirmations in this example after this uh, consolidations above the support level price uh, may made a strong breakout rely and found resistance uh, right here. The VWAP bands are also positioned in the area. 
On the top of that, uh, a weekend career will stop the bearish divergence patterns on the RSI that uh, had uh, formed when price uh, stalled at the stock acquisitions and the Viva Band's uh, resistance. Uh, these price levels uh, represent a high probability of resistance confidence points and a strong level to consider the short position. In this, uh, in this example, there are uh, the things uh, you should notice uh, right away. This support level uh, where price has tested uh, the area in previous oscillator and the level held. Then notice that uh, there are VWAP bands uh, as well, uh, providing another confluence factors uh, to that support level. And every side showed a bullish divergence, meaning price sections, uh, and the every side are no longer showing the same momentum. A bullish divergence is a uh, signal uh, when the error side indicator has a higher loss that uh, correlates uh, to lower loss in the price action. So this uh, showed increasing bullish momentum as uh, Heike Aichi chain changed colors from red uh, to green. Uh, we enter a long trade uh, with a uh, uh, stop loss below the confluence area. Here's noticed uh, this uh, support level uh, that has broken and the price has held enough. So this was a potential support to and resistance levels. The confluence trading factors come into uh, play here when you notice that Viva bands again to right in this area and uh, for momentum confirmations you look at the MACD. Uh, bearish divergence is pressed with the lower high on the MACD that uh, correlates to the higher heights in the price actions. This means uh, decreasing momentum and uh, possible reversal in the uptrend. This is uh, confluence trading uh, with the price actions and momentum confirmations. As always, if you got any value from this and uh, learned something new, drop a, drop a like to help us visit the algorithms and make sure you click the bell icon to stay in touch when we uh, upload the video. Until next time.